Hello, welcome to the OBD2 Basics. In this episode, I will demonstrate you how to read and clear the fault codes from your car and also how to get rid of annoying check engine light. Start by connecting your OBD2 scanner to your car. Okay, so I have successfully connected my OBD2 scanner and also if you don't have any OBD2 scanner or if you don't know how to connect yours, I explained which one to buy and how to connect it in previous episodes. I will put the links in the description so you can check those out. Okay, now I need to connect my smartphone to the OBD2 scanner. I am using this ThinkDiac app. It will detect cars that are like the VIN number automatically. Select the model. Now I will choose the held report, which is scanning the car for fault codes. And now it will go through all control units and scan each of them for trouble codes. Remember that only the better OBD2 adapters are able to scan all control units. The very basic ones will scan only the engine and maybe the transmission. But in 2023 there are some really cheap options for 20 bucks that you can buy, which will scan all control units, not just the engine. And the scan is also very fast with this thing the act device. Usually it takes like one or two minutes. So one minute and 15 seconds I can see my trouble codes. See, two control units are abnormal, which means that there were trouble codes found and 30 control units looks fine without any problems. I can go to these different control modules and see trouble codes, read fault code. So anyway, you have these trouble codes in the engine control module and also one code in ABS control module. Now here is the different type of trouble code C1310. I can simply delete all of these codes. If you want to save these codes so you can look at it later, you can either take a screenshot. What you can do with this thing DIAC2 is make the PDF report which will save all of these codes. Okay, so how do I make this check engine light go away? All you need to do is erase these trouble codes. And the check engine light is gone. Now when I rescan the car, there are no codes anymore. But if you had some ongoing fault, the check engine will probably come back when you drive the car. In this case, the check engine light was on only because I, I unplugged the air temperature sensor so I can get the check engine light to show you how to erase it because this car is almost new, it has 30,000 kilometers so there weren't any trouble codes. So this is how you want to do it. First time when you get the check engine, it is okay to just erase it, but 99% of the time it will just come back. And if it does, you need to first repair the fault which is causing this check engine. For example, if I didn't purposely do this and the air temperature sensor was faulty, I would need to replace it and then erase the codes. So that is another part of obd 2 Basics, reading and erasing trouble codes. I will see you in next parts.